Oh man, it's that time once again, my friends. What's up, what's going on, ladies and germs, boys and girls? Man, it's your host with the most, Paul Can too. Back today with another trip to the thrift, a thrifting adventure. Y'all know we hit the trenches of Houston, Texas in style and try and upgrade our style while spending a fraction of the penny of the price of new clothing. We're going in the thrift trenches and trying to find the most amazing heat and fire attire today. Now, that being said, man, y'all know I throw all my finds on Thrift Heaven and I want to give a big, huge shout out and thank you to everyone who did grab some stuff on this weekend's drop. I do multiple drops throughout the week and a lot of people ask, hey, I didn't see this piece on the website the day the video dropped. Well, follow the Thrift Heaven Instagram and that's how you guys can stay up to date on when these drops do occur. So just turn on those notifications and that's the best way on Instagram and on YouTube to not miss a video and to not miss a vintage drop. So I do appreciate all the love and support. As always, hit that like button and before we get into it, I'm doing a pop-up in Houston, Texas, hosted by Bounce Back. It is called Piece by Piece. It's at the garage, December 12th. This weekend, pull up, come through. We're gonna show up, show out. I'm gonna have exclusive planters at the pop-up and a ton of vintage items that I have set aside just for in-person purchasing only, all right? So come through, show love if you live in Houston or the surrounding areas, and most assuredly is going down. There could be a ton of vendors. It's gonna be a good ass time, or just hell, come kick it, chop it up, eat some food, and overall, just have a good little weekend in the vintage Houston community. With that being said, it's time to hit the first spot and see what they got. Let's go. All right, guys, we just jumped in the trenches, half off day, going ham, and the first things I found absolutely have me shook, have me startled. Bro, they have me perplexed. Check it out. Dual wheeled bumblebee colorways. Are you kidding me? When I saw this sleeve, I was like, yo, the sleeve absolutely never deceives. Y'all know the classic sayings, the starter jewelry, starter that goes harder. This is a double XL Pittsburgh penguins jacket i saw it i was like dude how sway how how sway super clean oh my god i love the little thread work going on right here making this look like some piano keys on the cool and in the same bumblebee hive color scheme chaps ralph Lauren puffer oh my god you look like the michelin man with a new outfit $20 half off today this was 35 so i'm still paying like 17 which is a little bit high but um Dude, I don't even mind for that vintage goose feather stuff jacket and the Pittsburgh Penguin starter. Mwah, delicious. Now, everything you guys see is available thriftevenvintage.com in case you guys are curious and want to purchase. That's a double XL for you big boys. So go ahead, link description, get at it. All right, the jacket department really is not letting me down today. Check it out. This is another big boy size, 3XL Seattle Seahawks. This is like a modern day chalk line all embroidered on the front. The sleeves all decked out in their logos. This thing is very, very clean, very nice. Then you have the Wilson Aquaberry, predominantly white. Again, the jewelry, the nice little tennis net in the triangle. There's some Illuminati stuff right here. That's on the dollar bill, right? This pyramid, come on, son. And then check, check this one out, bruh. Dude, child name inspiration, 17, half off. What is that, 850, bruh? You got that gizmo three in one. All three of y'all. But three in one Columbia, this does have a reversible jacket zipped into the inside just for that extra winter weather insulation. It's amazing. Let's grab it. All right, they're wiling the t-shirt department. Check it out. Single Stiage. You got that polo. Is it Ralph Lauren? No, it's Plumbing and Heating Co. It, 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 it ain't, ain't Ralph Lauren. Bruh, made in America though? Oh, no. Nah. Tripping, tripping. All right, I've kept digging the t-shirt department and I got like five finds that are absolutely wild. Bruh, real history in calf form. You have a Confederate cat with a head injury. Dude got straight sniped, but don't worry, you have the union officer as well. It definitely makes this shirt a little bit less racist, but still, this is a pro-slavery cat. Get out of here, skedaddle. Look at the back of this thing. You got this dude just cuddling a cannonball. Man, I. Shout out Gettysburg, bro, and, and I guess the artist that made this, that's real life Americana on a t-shirt. Okay, now you got the little uh, cat food, if you will. The fishes that get you hella biatches. Dead stock real legends tea, very nice. Then you have this cool little dragon shirt, but this dude is built like LeBron James. What, what the hell, man, what you doing? TRT, bruh, 
This guy's tripping. Tripping. Anyways, Lil. Hello, got a little London Bridge. I like the graphic on this, pretty nice. The, the script and then the alternate London font. Let's get it. And then you got some Christmas bangers, right? You got that ho ho Homer Simpson with the sack. And then you have the ultimate gift, Han Solo, wrapped up in a nice red bow by that boy Boba Fett. Got that candy cane scrata on him. Dude, all these are half off, like a buck fifty a pop. All right, we got a twofer in the jersey department. Check it out, man. Whedon boys, Dallas Cowboys. As of late, we've been losing a couple games, man. Got me a little bit shook, but nevertheless, you have that T.O. Terrell Owens jersey. Now, they were originally yaxing 15, tripping half off seven. seven. And then this piece, I don't know how it was sitting, dude. The Cincinnati Cyclones jersey, all 1,000% embroidered. Ooh. It was only $2. It's gonna be a cool one today. Hell yeah. All right, guys, I'm about to skedaddle. Last little find in this thing on the half off early morning. Dude, Real Madrid, Adidas, white poltergeist. Uh, little soccer warm up. Pretty cool. I'll go ahead and nab it. All right, guys, so we are officially out of the building. Three ginormous bags stuffed with loot. Bruh, give me the loot. Um, it's, it's crazy. It actually is shocking that they had the starter and chaps jacket. I'm very happy. Shout out family crew. All right, guys, we have arrived at the next spot of the day. The Salvation Army half off in here too. Let's see what they got. All right, guys, we touched in and touched down. And look at these cabinets, dude. Hella O's, like my, my bank account. No, but these yeah, are really cool cabinets. But anyways, I found a couple cool things, just a few noteworthy things. But um, when I found this cap, I was like, all right, I gotta record. This thing was just sitting, bruh. You ain't even gotta get lung cancer to rock this. The Marlboro Adventure Team. Dude, with the yellow snap, are Slay. you joking me? Or scrap, better yet. Um, you could definitely fit this in like an envelope. Straight up. And then a couple shirts that were really cool. I thought this was some, some uh, type of abstract lemon. But it appears to be a single stiatch armadillo running, reading a newspaper with the shades on. Beautiful 1988 Austin, Texas. And the colorway is just absolutely exquisite. Wow. Now, um, I have this Polo Ralph Lauren Polo as well. And this is based off of a vintage jacket print. So it's pretty cool. I can wear the jacket on the outside and then have this on the inside. And then another little button up is at Oxford University, all embroidered at rugby, very clean, thread count, out the wazoo, and then a hat to match. Sway. I don't, I don't know, this is contemporary, but it's just very, very clean, brand new with tags. I figured why not? And then last and not least, you have that Jeffrey Epstein exclusive. The kids are my business, puff pan crew neck. Personal foul. Personal foul, tripping. tripping. The price. Seven. Seven. Everything's half off. We're dripping. dripping. But uh, no, this is a cool little piece, vintage. I just love these handcrafted little uh, art art piece sweater sculptures, you dig? Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I just felt like showing off those few pieces real quick. All right, guys, we just jumped across the street and I found two <laughs> things and that's the only reason I'm recording, but oh man, Goodwill actually kind of came through with this shirt. This shirt is so damn hard. It is unreal. Unreal. All right, $6 Space Center Houston. You got all the dudes dressed up like astronauts. Swagging, bruh. Swagging. And then I got the little Southwestern electric power single stiatcha. Yeah, on the Onita. I just like the design. Kind of looks like a little collegiate I'm gonna get it. Dude. Also, one time for the one time, my size, Perfect. Aquaberry soccer jacket. Oh, undeniable. And just like that, guys, we have arrived. Family Thrift Outlet on Hillcross Street. Let's get in and find some heat. Oh, what a piece. My guy's getting that booty workout in, squatting while he reads the green like a damn novel. Let's go. I'm not even getting this piece. I just... I just love this guy's uh, dedication to the game, you heard? Oh, gee willikers, bro. We got it. Oh, by golly, we got it. Check these out. Oh, my God. Bruh. This says live and let live. The animal encrusted. Earth is my planet. Earth is my Habitat planet. Habitat T. Noah's Ark Steez, two giraffes. What? 
Let's breed. This is awesome. Two parrots. God. And then you got the Alaska. Boy, she's just riding this pony on some Red Dead Redemption through the snow. Freaking Mission 1. What y'all know about it? Hard. Dude, I will never understand it. Why do people cut off the necks? Like, you can tell this piece didn't even have a tight neck to begin with. Uh, the Camel Cigarettes, Joe's Place. Dang it. Oh, giddy up, partner. There ain't nothing better than tractor racing. All right, we got a game. Find the hidden Nike check. Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, guys, y'all know how we coming down, man. Icy like a hockey field? You got all three of them? All three. The Mighty Ducks? Amazing movie. You got one for the adults, the starter for the children. You ain't winning if you ain't twinning with your child. What's up? And then look at this. The Fanatics all embroidered. St. Louis Blues all-star jersey. Dude, this jersey is super clean. I love hockey jerseys too because this has a size small and you know that fits like an adult large, bruh. You know that. Ice out. All right. Two finds. Same colorway. I am a little bit confused, though. You got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Super Bowl chomps. This was like the 2000s championship. But uh, you also got the Nike. You know, same color scheme. But I'm confused. How does one accumulate so much sweat, dirt residue on their neck to stain a collar? Ew, that's gross. Like, that, that's, that amalgamation is an accomplishment. Gross. All right, yeah. This Nike piece... A little bit better. I think I'm gonna do a nice little trade in. Okay, bruh. Aquaberry vintage Nike windbreaker. Let's see the color of the tag. Gray tag, red Nike insignia. And then you got the a little, the little Olympics windbreaker as well. Oh yes, break one in style. Let it puff. Get it. Oh, all gold. Everything you guys know, I love gold. What is that? Versace. It says one size fits most. You lion. Wait a second, speaking of gold, bruh. Look at this banger, absolute gym. Got the Goldberg on the Toltecs. Look at that, wrestling tee. Are you kidding me? Are, are, are you kidding me? Hard. Oh my God, why do I want these, bro? The vintage Nike soccer jerseys go stupid. Norco? Wait, hold on, what? Home and away? Oh. All right, dude, we got two pieces in the same colorway that are crazy. If you guys have seen the movie Friday Night Lights, you have the Permian Panthers. The Panthers gonna rock your world. Vintage jerseys, crew neck, and then check out this heater. Are you freaking? Oh, it says rock aware. I thought it said Buccaneers. I can't read. Stupid. Dude, thread count, wild on the Mickey. Oh, dude, the Disney merch is on swole. Got the Disney Animal Kingdom encrusted in species. Hell yeah. Dude, another two, a pair. You got the Adidas with the front pocket, red, white, and blue. Then the Taz with the plaid. Next level. You never can deny a classic. Dude, Michael Jordan jersey, champion, size 40, schmedium, a little bit of vomit on it. You know, mom, spaghetti. Um, Jordan on the back, this is crispy. And behind it, man, we had that Caribbean Joe. I think that's what the brand is called. The Oasis in the Nof, a camel, swagged out. Swagged up, I'll be killing it. I, I said camel, that, that's, a, that's a moose. Bro, Egyptian? Oh man, straight out the tomb. Nah, bro, but we seriously got some Harley closet nothing for a Harley. The colorway is wild. The Eagle, lethal, Nike, essential. Wow. All right, we're about to depart on out of here, man. We got three last little finds for the win. You have the Nike made in America. Pay attention, sweetie. Bruh, I'm gonna pack in your face. What? How violent. I wouldn't put it past Nike though. You know what they'll be doing in them sweatshops, boy? Cutting off fingers. Anyways, you also have the Save the Planet Hard Rock Cafe. And then last and not least, some true vintage heat. You have the Lee 42 regular Red Baron embroidered jacket. So someone just threw on this patch. This thing is super, super old. You already know what time it is. Um, I gotta grab this, man. Just super hard. Bro, God bless America. We're in another one. We got some American classics. Damn it, dude. Damn it, you got that Gil, that Gil Adam apparel. Half Texas, half America, boy. That's, that's all America is, is Texas. <laughs> At least well, that's my, that's why I'm from perspective. <laughs> hey man, you also got this really cool Wrangler. You have a bunch of flowers all over it. Nice little Navajo design, as loud as vibrant. Then you have the Bumblebee Stripes. Polo Ralph Lauren. That's what I'm saying, American 
designer, all right? It's a little bit nappy, but ain't too shabby for daddy. Slightly stained, but it was worn and loved. Corduroy collar. Hold on, man. Country of origin, Singapore. I thought it said USA. My fault. All right, their crew neck section is also percolating in here. Texas Motor Speedway. You got three giraffes. Look back at it. Look back at it. Whoa. Look back at it. Whoa. That long, long neck. You hear me? And then you also got the NASCAR little, uh, little fleece flame. Man, these are nice. Nice. Okay, guys, this piece is actually unreal. Dude, live in the thrift, you have merch from my hometown of 13,000 people. The Lamarck Cougars. Cougs take stay 409 G County type shit. Vintage windbreaker. This is so, so hard. Man, I had to include it one time. Then also, this is crazy. This like boxer brand flies at higher game, baby. Perfection. I don't even know what's going on on here. It says boxer all up in it. Tons of patches. Western as hell. Bruh. Even the buttons are something out of folklore. This is wild. Oh my God, look at that interior, bruh. But the exterior, you got the Ford Cobra Vintage Factory Jacket. I have this jacket, but for my band, the Aerostar. This is stupendous. America. Guys, the classic vintage Tommy for your mommy made in America. And then you got this Tommy jacket, heavy. Pretty simple on the outside, but the inside got something nice, man. Let her up in your guts. Let us see the inside of that jacket. Real quick, man, I gotta show off this four pack of t-shirts. 1996 Andy Warhol Museum merch? The Nitro Junkie Drag Racing? You also have the Crash Rescue USMC single stitch. It's like an astronaut or a dude in a hazmat suit just saving a jet. And then Stroke My Cactus, the Texas T. Stroke My Cactus. Oh, it's too litty. <laughs> All right, the music is bumping in here. We're about to head out. Last couple of things, man. Levi's acid washed orange tabs. This is like a black tab on here. Super hard wash job on these dudes. I'm gonna get a both. Is that acid or like stone wash? Either way, it's washed. But it's dirty because it's in the thrift, so it's not. It gets deep. I swear to God, that shit just gets so deep. Oh Lord. Okay, guys, and we are back right now from the thrifts, and we have one duffel and two duffels full of divine thrift finds. And uh, there's some things that I did purchase, which I didn't show off in the video. Just some knickknacks, some patty wax, some bangers, the Volver Pedro classic Napoleon Dynamite tee. Um, oh, I found this cool, like, Coogee-esque grayscale sweater. This looks like a TV, like, in static. And it's nice because it, it has a little collar on it, which I definitely like as well. And um, of course, oh, of course you gotta love the vintage Nike jacket. Now, if you guys want this gear, again, it's available, thrifthavenvintage.com. If y'all don't see a piece today, it's honestly just because I ran out of time trying to get all these items photoed, uploaded, and hitting the website. So stay tuned, follow me on the Thrift Heaven official Instagram, and that's how you guys know when these drops do occur. It's just called Thrift Heaven Vintage on IG, link in description to the website, to the Instagram, to my second YouTube channel, and of course, my personal Instagram where I show off fits and all that shit. But yeah, you have the Nike, and then a little tantalizing piece that I also grabbed was this maroon and navy blue Adidas jacket. The sleeve never deceives. Hail to the na na. But anyways, man, if you guys did enjoy, I would appreciate a like, some feedback in the comment section. Let me know what content you guys would like to see. We're going to keep it popping. And again, if you guys live in Houston or free this weekend, come through to Piece by Piece, hosted by Bounce Back. Uh, all the info is in the description. It's at the garage in Houston, Texas, December 12th. So yeah, if you guys need anything, just refer to the description down below. And until next time, live the dream, eat that ice cream, stay clean, hit them trenches, save money, look fresh, recycle clothes y'all know how it goes peace i'm out killing these songs leaving a bloody life i roost and i'm in it to win it so i'm somebody that you should get used to